Amid the protest against the hijab row in Karnataka, some students hoisted a saffron flag atop their college and got into a scuffle with students supporting hijab, prompting the state government to declare holiday in high schools and colleges in the state. Meanwhile, the Karnataka High Court on Tuesday began its hearing into the petition filed by Muslim girls who were asked not to come to the college while wearing hijab. The court said that it will hear the case without emotion and passion. Karnataka CM Baswaraj Bomoy urged people of Karnataka to maintain peace and harmony after the protest against the hijab row turned violent. Stone pelting incidents were reported in few parts of the state, which prompted the state government to close high schools and colleges in the state for three days. Earlier, State Home Minister Agra Janendra had urged protesting students to maintain peace. The Karnataka High Court began the hearing of petition filed by five Muslim girls studying in a government university in Udupi, questioning the hijab restriction in the college. Bodies of seven Indian Army soldiers who were stuck in an avalanche in Arunachal Pradesh on Sunday have been recovered, the Army said in a statement today. The patrol party was struck by the avalanche in a bad weather amid snowfall in the high-altitude calming sector, the Army said, adding that the search and rescue operation was launched immediately. Unfortunately, despite the best efforts of everyone involved, all seven have been confirmed dead, the Army said in a statement. Two Tripura MLAs who resigned from their post and quit the Bharatiya Janata Party on Tuesday morning joined the Congress Party following the meeting with Rahul Gandhi at his residence. One of the MLAs, Sudeep Roy Berman, said many MLAs are ready to quit but perhaps they want to wait for some more months due to technicalities. Everyone is disillusioned by the BJP party. I feel Tripura can go to polls along with Gujarat and Himachal Pradesh. Prime Minister Narendra Modi attacked the Congress party in the Rajya Sabha today. The Prime Minister said if going by Gandhiji's wish there were no Congress, democracy would have been free of nepotism, India would have taken the Swadeshi path, there would have been no stain of emergency, corruption would have not been institutionalized for decades, there would have been no casteism and regionalism, Sikhs would have not been massacred, there would have not been an exodus from Kashmir, women would not have to be burned in Tandoor, common man would not have to wait so long for basic facilities. Peace.